This week's theme is winter. Did you get it right? Hi, I'm Logan with this week's announcements. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisibility, with liberty and justice for all. Now, on to this week's weather. Hey Grizzlies, welcome back to weather. On Friday, it's going to be a high of 58 and a low of 39. On Saturday, it's going to be a high of 61 and a low of 42. On Sunday, it's going to be a high of 68 and a low of 41. Stay warm and be safe. Bye, Grizzlies. Thanks to everyone who helped us make our holiday gift drive commitment. Hey guys, it's Olivia from Phrase of the Week, and today I'm here with... Bella! And this week's phrase is Winter Wonderland in Spanish. Pero hizo en vernel. Let me hear it one more time. Pero hizo en vernel. Bye, Grizzlies. Joke of the Week by Ava Shalhu. What falls in the winter time but never gets hurt? Snow! <laughs> Top 5 Winter Movies by Jane and Wood. Number 5, Misery. Number 4, Groundhog Day. Number 3, Home Alone. Number two, Frozen. Number one, Fargo. Hi, I'm Peyton, and I'm here with Tate, Luke, and Jet. Tate, Luke, and Jet, what's your happy news? Our happy news is... It's almost Christmas. It sounds like Lego. Hi, I'm Peyton, and I'm here with Tate, Luke, and Jet. Tate, Luke, and Jet, what's your favorite part about winter? My favorite thing about winter is Christmas. Same. My baby is Hi, I'm Peyton, and I'm here with Connor Jackson. <laughs> Guys, what's your happiness? My happiness is I learned a fakey shove in skateboarding. <laughs> My happiness is that I learned a tray flip in skateboarding. Hi, I'm Peyton, and I'm here with Connor and Jackson. Connor Jackson, what's your favorite part about winter? Um, I like the snow. I like the feeling that Christmas is almost coming. Bye! This week's restaurant is Jose's Mexican Food. Jose's is located in Yucaipa on Yucaipa Boulevard. Masks are required, but once you are down dining, you can take your mask off. If you want to have a night with your family or friends, Jose's is the best place to go. Bye, Grizzlies! Grizzlies, today I will be showing you guys how to make two fun winter science experiments. Let's go. Now that I gathered up all my ingredients to make the science experiment, I'm going to tell you guys. So for this science experiment, you're going to be needing, um, food coloring is optional. I have little beads, by the way. That's optional too. And I have glitter glue, that's optional too. You just have to, the main ingredients are baking soda, water that I have over there, and a plastic cup or a mixing bowl or something. First thing you're going to want to do is put baking soda in your cup, like that. You're going to add your food coloring. I'm going to make it green. I'm using a highlighter and mixer. You can use whatever. But if you've mixed it in, you're going to add a little bit of water. You're going to add a little bit of water, and you're going to mix it until it comes, like, into this contexture. You're going to pick it up and roll it into a ball. Now on to the next science experiment. You're going to set it aside. What you're going to need for this science experiment is a plastic cup. Food coloring is optional vinegar, and baking soda. Let's go. The first thing that you're going to want to do is fill your cup halfway up to with vinegar. I recommend you have a towel under your working space. You're going to add your food coloring in there. Don't mix it, it's just going to be there. Whoa! Look at that, you guys can see all the color. It's so cool. Try this with vinegar and not water, it will actually fizz up and be much a cooler experience, but I like it this way so I can... The question of today is, do, do you like my Christmas tree? Bye, Grizzlies! Top 5 Winter Songs by Jimmy Cook Number 5 by Geodic Sledding Number 4 
by Faulty DL, Winter Soul. Number three, ab- by Above and Beyond, Northern Soul, featuring Richard Bedford. Number two, by Gold Panda, Snow and Taxis. Number one, by Idealism, Snowfall. Where in Yukaipa is Bailey Gilson? Hints, lots of kids like to play here. There's a gazebo here, and there's a playground. Send your answers to my email, baileyg331 at ycjusd.us. The first three with the correct answers will get a shout-out in the next Grizzly News episode. Winners from last week. First place, Levi Hankey. Second place, Jessica Maloof. Third place, Charlotte Gray. By Kaden Mendoza. Did you know that the Firefox logo isn't actually a fox, but rather a red panda, and about 250 million of TV shows and movies are watched daily on Netflix? Bye, Grizzlies. Mr. Fazbear's Fact of the Week by Gavin Vaughn. Hi, Freddy. Can I ask you something about winter? Oh, sure. What is your question? Can you tell me a fact about winter? Okay, did you know that there's going to be a lot of meteor showers this month? No, I didn't. Thanks, Freddy. Bye, Grizzlies! Bye, Grizzlies! What character would you like to be in the next episode? Yeah, you heard me right. You get to pick the next character to be in the next episode. Here are your choices. Number one, Mr. Krabs. Number two, Fred the Llama. Number three, Gabe the Dog. Number four, Skippy. And number five, Mr. Fazbear. Send your choice to my email, GavinV448 at YCJUSD.US. Bye, Grizzlies. Sports Facts and Games by Michael Modis. Baseball. Did you know that minor league baseball has 119 teams and six levels? Football. Did you know Tom Brady has the most Super Bowl wins as a quarterback? Local games. Los Angeles Rams versus New York Jets. Los Angeles Chargers versus Atlanta Falcons. Soccer. Did you know that the highest score soccer game was 149 to 0? Guess Who by Kurt Megalindo. Traveled to many places before the pandemic, teaches instruments, has two after school groups, and is part of a choir. The staff member is Mrs. Greenleaf. Did he get it right? If not, come back next time for the next question. Time. Time to build some snowmen. In today's cooking cooking thing, um, you will need hot cocoa, carrot cup, which is a mug of kind, milk, and a mug of your choice, and some ice. I didn't bring that out because I didn't want it to melt. So. What you want to do is turn your coffee cure maker on, let it heat, and yeah. 
so once it heats up, it will start taking more water. You want to make sure it's full of water. And as you might hear, it's bleeding. Don't take your milk out once it heats up. It might not to show. And it's just eating now. And it will be going to start. What you want to do while you're waiting? If there's something from a, from a past user in there, you want to take it out. Or if it has more in it, draw a napkin. And grab it. Make sure it's clear the bottom. Now you want to insert your curry cup. Push down until you hear the clock. Should be started. So then you put your mug in. So now that the hot chocolate is poured, you want to get your ice. Two pieces, I recommend. And you want to slightly drop them in there. You may prop my phone up. You want to take your milk and pour just for a second and then you have your milk hot chocolate with ice to for cooling your supplies first fold the paper like this then cut off the piece that is not folded so that little rectangle right here when you're done fold the paper half like that so, so like this so it's Folded, folded twice. Flip it like this, like this. Then fold it like this, into like this, kind of rocket ship shape. Then turn it around. Then cut it from here to here. Then cut it out. Then grab this piece and fold it out. And then you're done. Hey guys, hope everybody had a great week. Thanks to uh, Grizzly News and Miss Clough for this week's Grizzly News episode. Thank you to all of you that participated in the Gingerbread House contest, both voting and submitting your Gingerbread House. I believe we're gonna announce the winner here during this uh, Grizzly News. Next week, we got four days, Monday through Thursday. That means get to class, all in, ready to begin, and winter announced Thursday afternoon. Also, our MYP students who are receiving, uh, who received Grizzly Bucks next Thursday, join the two o'clock meeting so that you can find out if your name is drawn. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Come back to us on Monday. Happy, healthy, and strong. Hints for next week's theme by Celine Foster. It comes nearly at the end of December. It's many people's favorite day of the year. You'll probably have a lot of cleaning to do after it. Email me at selena405 at ycjus.us and tell me your answer. Whoever gets it right will get a shout out next week. Wow, that was some really great news this week. Well, see you next time, Grizzlies. Bye.